Hi everyone. Now we will talk about ng switch directive in Angular. So first we will talk about what is ng switch directive, why we use it. After that we will see two examples about ng switch directive. First one conditions on page load. Then second one is conditions with button click. And maybe you can use some other events also on change or maybe input event, whatever event you want to use, you can use there. And we'll also check how we can use default case with the ng switch. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to ng switch directive. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So now let's talk about first question. What is ng switch? This is a structural directive in Angular. And guys, if you are not aware what is directive, what is structural directive, how many types of directive we have in Angular, then you can watch video number 27 in this series. There I explained everything about directives, use case, examples, type, definition, everything I explained there. All right. So ng switch is basically a structural directive and that is used to apply, uh, you can say that conditional statement in Angular, right? But you can say that we have one more directive, which is ng if that is also used to apply conditional statement. See, when you have a uh, few conditions, maybe two, three, four, five conditions, that time you can use ng if, but you, if you have multiple conditions, maybe uh, 10, 20, 30 and more than this, that time you can simply use ng switch. All right. Now let's take a basic example of ng switch. So let's say I have uh, some heading tag there. First one is red color and they have background color also style background color red you can see its output this is perfectly working fine and let's say you have some other uh, h1 tags also maybe for green and then we have for blue and its text color is also uh, text is also blue color there then maybe pink pink color and last one is maybe uh, yellow and you can mention their yellow color. Here you can see that all of these color. But let's say you want to show only one color at a time depending on the condition. So let's say if this color property is its value is red, then you have to show the red one. If its value is green, then you have to show the green. Similarly, blue, pink and yellow respectively, depending on that color value. Then how you can do that? See, there are two things. First one, you can use ng if that we already discussed in one of the previous part, uh, but that is only used for few conditions. But color can be, uh, we have five color there, maybe but 10, 20, 30 color. Then how we can do that? In that case, what you can do, you can use ng switch. And for that, first of all, you have to take a div and maybe you can take any other HTML element, maybe p tag, even span will also work there. All right. And then you can use this uh, in the square braces ng switch like this all right and you have to check its value there color like on which property you want to match there right but that case will not work directly you will see that ng switch is not bind there then how you can bind you have to import it there ng switch like this from the angular common package similarly you have to use ng switch case all right so now you will see that error is gone from there but still we have all of the these color so now what you can do you can comment out all of these not all of these but four uh, of them right and then you will see only one color we have if you just save this you will see only one color we have there okay but to apply the condition if you want to check its value then you have to use their star ng switch and then case like this and there you have to match its value like color this is the property and its value whatever value you are using there should be matched there and that should be inside the string if this is uh, a string then you can use double quotes and inside this single quotes and now you can see that this is perfectly working but if you just put their green color then it will not work because this case is not matching there to match the green color what you need to do uh, let me uncomment all of these colors you have to use this switch case like this 
uh, switch ng switch case and green now you will see green is there red is not there because uh, it will only work when we have the red color and if you want to apply this condition with the all of color then let me just copy and paste three more time and then you will see blue color pink and last one is yellow now only one color is visible what whatever is mentioned there now you can see that green if i just mention their pink you will see we have the pink headline and last one and maybe some other let's say yellow that will also visible there okay the now the thing is let's say the color is black there now nothing is visible in that case you can use default case with ng switch first you have to import it how you can import uh let me put there ng uh default switch default right and there at last case you can use ng uh switch default but there will be no condition as such and if none of the above value will be matched then it will be display and there i will mention even we have to remove the background color right because no color is matched there you can see that no color matched and here you can see that no color matched perfect okay so now we got to know how ng switch ng switch case and and this ng switch default work on page load but how they can work on a button click event so if on a button click if i change its value then how it will work okay for that let me make a function there and its name is change color change color and there what i'll do i will get a parameter there and you can put its value a name is color and its type will be string and there what i can do this dot color is color like this and there i will call this function on a button click and for that i need to make a button let me make a button and its value is red color there right and on click i will call this let me use the square braces color on color and let me pass there red as a string now you can see that no color is matched there but if i just color on the red color you can see that this is changed right because now color property has red color value and similarly if i have some more colors maybe green blue pink and last one is yellow and let me change its label also text color also which is uh green then uh, uh again blue and then pink it should be pink not pink yeah and last one is yellow all right so now if i just click on any one you can see that colors are changing according to that because on the button click we are changing the value of color and color is basically used inside the ng switch directory all right so i hope you understand how we can use ng switch if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm and gpay donation number if you want to donate and there is a angular interview question playlist also you can check out on the channel and that will be also definitely help you out for angular interviews and uh, that will uh, help you a very good job in angular right so you can watch that thank you so much for watching this part